is going on guys and welcome to my AFC Bournemouth versus Norwich post-match review. Now obviously we won 3-0, three massive points that we definitely deserved and the game we definitely needed to get the three points because they were above us by two points and now we're above them and uh, we're one, point, one place higher in the league table which is fantastic and we're a bit further away now from the relegation zone so it was a massive win for us. We hadn't won in a couple of games, so we needed the win to get back in the winning like momentum and the winning ways. And it came in an emphatic performance. It's, it's obvious to say we were unstoppable. We were amazing. Fantastic performance by the boys. A phobie again. Sensational. You know, his, his debut against West Ham, he had two massive chances that he could have and probably should have scored. But he didn't. And... It, today, or yesterday, sorry, against uh, Novich, he came big. He scored his first Premier League goal and his first AFC Bournemouth goal. And it's a fantastic finish. Great ball in by Daniels. Um, but I don't know what to say because the performance in general was emphatic. It was so good. Everyone played amazing. Boric in goal was fantastic. Adam Smith, again, at right back, fantastic. Chai Daniels at left back provided the favour with his goal. Brilliant work. Centre backs of Francis and Cook, fantastic. Sermon in the holding midfield again. He performed so well. Arta and Garslin in front of him. Garslin obviously scored the first goal. Fantastic header by Garslin. Pugh, who put the ball in for Garslin. A fantastic cross for Mark Pugh. Obviously, who came in for Richie. And Richie is such a big player for us. And Pugh performed like fantastically. It was it was really good to see. Like because. Basically, this year, every player that has their chance takes it. Like, look at Smith. He's taken his chance at right back. Pugh took his chance at left wing. Now, at Sunderland away on Saturday, not too sure whether Richie will, one, be fit. But if he is, whether he'll start. Because Pugh doesn't deserve to be dropped. Stanislas doesn't deserve to be dropped. They both played fantastic. And obviously, a phobie. He did get a knock, but... He isn't going to be injured for next week. I hope not anyway. So, things that are going to change. Nothing. I would not change that starting eleven. It was fantastic. So good. So compact. The defence got a clean sheet. Like, what the hell? The defence got a clean sheet. We played fantastic. Everyone was amazing. We defended from the front, which is how it should be done. A phobie. I said it when we signed him. Yes, 10 million for a 22-year-old who hasn't been proven in the Premier League. Big price tag. But he's performing for that price tag. His work rates, his movement, fantastic. His movement off the ball into the defenders makes players like Goslin, Arta, Pugh, Stanislas find those open spaces to get in and have a shot a goal or create another chance for the team. It, his work is amazing. Now, one thing... Aturbe didn't play, um, and I think because Kermigan did come on for about four or three minutes left, I think that was a good buy gesture from Eddie Howe. I don't see uh, Kermigan being at the club at the end of January because we've had six strikers. We're rumoured with um, Defoe, I believe. Uh, so if we get Defoe, then what's going to happen to the rest of the players, the rest of the strikers? Obviously, Ranty and Kermigan are the two players that are rumoured to be leaving. Signing Graven, I don't think we're going to see Wilson again this season. Obviously, I want to be wrong, but I don't think we will. Um, so, I don't think Wilson will be involved in the 25-man squad. We're rumoured to be looking for Lewis Cook from, from Leeds, centre mids. I would definitely, definitely, definitely sign him because we've got three midfielders. Well, four with O'Kane and McDonald. Five, really, but McDonald hasn't played in the Premier League for us, anyway. O'Kane okay, comes on with about 15 minutes to go for Arta. Um, so, Cook would be a fantastic addition for us. I'd love to have Cook. Um, but, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. The rundown. I wouldn't drop uh, Pew. I'd play the same team that started. Again, yeah, you could bring on you could bring on a Turbe. You could bring on Richie. We've got players there who we could bring on. I want to end it on this one, though. Right, the back four, as it stands, is Daniels. At left back, Cook centre back, Francis centre back, who is actually a right back, or we signed him as a right back. Smith is a right back. Tommy Elflick, our club captain, 
is one of our starter choice centre backs, right? Now he's a couple of weeks away from full fitness. When he comes back, you expect how to at least he will be on the bench to start with, no doubt about it, but who would you drop for your club captain to come back in? Who would you drop, if anyone? Would you change it? Or would you guys leave it as it is? Because personally, Francis at centre back is amazing. He's played better at centre back than Elfit did at the start of the season. Smith, I would not take out of the squad. I really wouldn't. His right wing or right back qualities are sensational. And I wouldn't say bringing in Elphick and putting Francis back to right back because then that means Smith is out of the side. And I would not do that. That is stupid. So, I don't see Elphick getting back into the squad anytime soon unless one of the two centre-backs or right back get an injury. And I don't see that happening. Well, you can't predict injuries, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. So, comment down below what you think how will do when Elphick comes back. Obviously, I think he would be on the bench for the next couple of games when he is fit. He won't start straight away. But yeah, bit of a weird one. Let me know what you think about Kermigant potentially leaving for Reading. Is who what I've heard so far. Reading is interested. Um, I would be not happy for him to leave because I do like him. The fans like him. You all sing his name at Dean Court when he comes on. Even when he's on the bench, you sing his name. So you all love him. But does he fit the Premier League? I don't think so. We've got better strikers. Joshua King out injured as well. So there's players that are better than him out injured. And they're going to come back? Yeah. Don't know. But anyway, guys. 3-0. Massive win. Sunday on Saturday. Not too sure when the next video will be out. Because as you can tell, I'm back at home. I've come home for the weekend from university and whatnot. Um, so no idea when the next video will be live. But hopefully it's not too late. I'm taking my camera to uni, so all my videos on this channel will be like face cam orientated. Again, I know you guys prefer that to like the FIFA sort of videos and whatever. But I had to make do with what I had at the time. But anyway, guys, take care. Adios. See you all next time. Up the cherries. King Afobi. Big man. Man like Benick. Boom.